When I was in high school, my friends needed a new bass player for their band. And I'd never played bass, but I thought, that'd be really cool, I could play in a rock band. And my dad actually played bass, so I thought, I'll just go home and learn a few notes. Two weeks later, I was on stage with them playing bass. I'm, I was, I'm not saying that I was the next flea, but you know, I knew enough to kind of strum along. And I've realized that mediocrity has become kind of a theme of my life. And so I was thinking, what if mediocrity wasn't something that we had to kind of be ashamed of or to overcome? And what if instead we could actually be proud of it and embrace it? Historically, mediocrity has gotten a pretty bad rap. Quotes like this one from the dancer Martha Graham that the only sin is mediocrity. When you do a Google search for mediocrity quotes, you just get a whole load of these. And they're usually from people who are really well respected, usually artists, and they're like, just need to be an expert, everything else is crap, just be an expert, it's all you need. But actually the original definition of mediocrity, it just meant in the middle, neither good or bad, and there was no value judgment attached to it. So I think it would be really cool if we kind of move beyond this idea of feeling inferior and instead we just embrace the idea that we're good enough. So in my business, I'm WP Supergeek, the superhero, and this is the alter ego, I guess me. So I was thinking every superhero needs an origin story and um, this is mine. So growing up, I always dreamed of being an actor. That was what I wanted to do. I performed in school plays, and I got accepted into a theater degree at university. Several graduations later, I was a little bit disillusioned by academia, um, so I sort of got out of that realm, and I started working in television. Actually, this slide is a little bit misleading because it kind of makes it seem like I was this fabulous star of the stage and screen. Um, no, I actually watched television all day. I worked for a, a TV network doing quality control. It wasn't quite the dream. Um, I took a sidestep then. I worked in Apple retail and I helped people learn how to use their computers. And then I started WP Supergeek. So I helped small businesses to take control of their, web their websites with WordPress. Um, so as you can see, I've been a little bit of a jack of all trades. What's not mentioned here is that I'm also a photographer and a voiceover actor. Um, but just because my, I'm up here and I'm the one with the microphone, it doesn't mean that my story is any better than yours. Um, you might have a similar trajectory or your story might be a lot more linear than this. You probably know a lot more about HTML and CSS and JavaScript and PHP than I do. And we're, so we're all different and we shouldn't let our perceived lack of knowledge hold us back, is what I feel. So I want to encourage everyone to embrace this feeling of mediocrity. Um, you might feel overwhelmed by all of the techie stuff that's happening at WordCamp, but it's okay not to know it all. If this idea seems sort of familiar to you, you might be familiar with the concept of the imposter syndrome, um, where you join a group such as this and you feel like, I'm not really meant to be here, I don't belong, everybody here knows way more than I do. Um, and in fact, when I was writing this talk, I had the imposter syndrome because I was like, I'm onto this really cool idea. And then I searched it and all these people had talked about it before me. So um, working with WordPress for over nine years, I still definitely don't know everything, but I have a business where I use WordPress. So how is this possible? And I think it's because I have embraced that feeling of mediocrity. But you're probably wondering, like, why embrace mediocrity? Like, shouldn't we be trying to be the best? But I sort of feel like it's good to have imperfections because it sort of makes us more human. And I really like this, the Japanese concept of wabi-sabi, which is um, kind of an example of it is if you break a vase and then they repair a vase, but the, the glue that holds the vase back together is like gold or something really um, amazing that stands out. And the belief in wabi-sabi is that the actual broken vase that's mended it's more beautiful because it is imperfect. So I'm kind of running with that idea. And I feel like if you fear imperfection, that it stops you from realizing your potential. I think we should see being good enough as an opportunity rather than as a hindrance. 
Um, as I said before, I'm a jack of all trades and I was lamenting about that one day to my cousin and saying, I don't know what I will do with my life. And she said, well, the thing that you're good at is that you can do lots of things. And I thought, that's kind of cool. So I'm happy to brand myself that. <laughs> and uh, I kind of have a superhero secret identity. And uh, I'm ready to reveal it to you today. Are you ready? Okay. I don't know everything about WordPress. <laughs> Actually, that felt kind of good. Whew. Yeah, that felt sort of liberating. But I feel like we can make it like a bigger statement. I don't know everything about WordPress. <sighs> Whew. Yeah, that, that felt good. So with that in mind, I've kind of come up with a few strategies, three strategies, that you can use in your own lives to help you to embrace that feeling of mediocrity. So the first one is to be authentic. Um, I'm being pretty authentic with you guys right now. <laughs> And there's, there's always going to be somebody who's better than you at the tech stuff, but the client is going to hire you for you, not necessarily for what you know. Um, as Leonard Cohen saying, there's a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. So I sort of feel like if you have cracks in your technical knowledge, you can fill those with the light of your personality. Um, so, you know, I see myself as a WordPress superhero, which might seem to you like, you know, I pretty happy with myself, but I sort of, it, to me, it's just like a bit fun and tongue in cheek, which is just me, it's just my personality. So if you bring your personality to the table, it's great to be good enough, because then you've got extra room for your personality. So the second strategy is working together. And when you're not focused on being like an expert on the, the top of your field, you're a bit more open to opportunities that you have to work together with other people. I am at my best when I'm collaborating with other designers or developers or content writers or things like that. Um, you get that real spark of working together. Um, I work in solitary confinement in a home office. I'm sure some of you might be familiar with that, maybe all of you. And it can be really hard to get out and meet people, but that's why we have things like WordCamp and um, Facebook groups and everything else that you can use to meet people, even if it is meeting virtually. Um, you can contribute to the WordPress project through make.wordpress.org, even if you feel like you don't really know anything, you probably have some skills that you can use. And the last way that you can embrace your mediocrity is through helping others. And you might feel like if you t um, are teaching people something that you need to be an expert, but that's not true. Um, you can teach people things even if you only know one more thing than they do. Um, I have worked with clients like yoga teachers who are in the studio all day doing yoga and they don't have the time or even the mental headspace to sit down at the end of the day and figure out how to use WordPress. So maybe also builders that I've worked with, um, they are on the building side all day and they really only know how to do their email. So these people, uh, these non-technical people, and I have seen them literally in tears because they feel stupid that they don't know how to use WordPress. The five-minute installation is not a five-minute installation for everybody. And it may surprise some of us who work with it every day that people really struggle with it, um, even though we might see it as user-friendly. And non-technical people have been made to feel inadequate their whole lives. And we can really help those people because what we feel might be mediocre knowledge to them is an expert and we can really help them out. So you can go into the WordPress.org WordPress forums um, and you can help people answer questions on there that you might have only just figured out yourself last week. You can help, as I have, um, people in Facebook small business groups or my next door neighbour who runs a business or uh, I've worked for, with some non-profits as well. So don't wait until you know everything to fully share it with people. Mediocrity is a feature, not a bug. You don't need a special medal or a special certificate to say that you're good enough to go out there and help people. But, okay, if you really need that, if you really need that special certificate, I will give it to you. I hereby deem you all good enough. Repeat after me, I am good enough. There you go. So actually, I've uh, made up some buttons. Buttons are a feature of WordCamp, as I have noticed. 
Um, you can come up and get one after the talk, but I've made up these buttons that say good enough. So you can proudly wear one of those buttons and you can tell everybody that you are good enough. So this is me. I have a good enough Slack channel that you can access by my website as well. And the slides from this talk are also on my website. Thank you. <laughs>